Welcome back. For the last video I received some questions, particular how React lazy loading is working. And uh, so I thought it would be a good topic to talk about this. My name is Fluent Ruppel and in this video we're going to dissect lazy loading using Parcel and React. Now what you should remember from the last video is that we created already um, a small blog post using Parcel code chain and um, we uh, created this posts code chain module which uses a lazy loading. Now the interesting part with lazy loading is that um, especially using code chain we can still read out what's all there for instance another post in hello world but the information from these modules is not contained in the main bundle so when I load this thing right I see the source JS is coming in and I could now have let's say a thousand blog posts still when I go in there I see that I load another JS file here the another post JS and likewise for the hello world there is the hello world js file great right um, so that means my page just scales the information i want to have on one page doesn't impact the size of the whole bundle uh, in a too negative way and um, someone who just looks at one blog post only loads this one lo blog post great now how does this work um, we need two ingredients. The first is we need a component, right? Let's just create one, call it large component TSX. We, let's say, simulate that this would be a larger file, maybe directly because it contains all the content or indirectly because it has large dependencies, like for instance, I don't know, a text edit or a special kind of JavaScript file that is not part of the larger application. A good example would be uh, let's say a contact form where we display a map. Usually map controls are uh, JavaScript files that, that are quite large. So that would be the output here. Now we need to export something. Let's just export um, a couple of lines. Let's say we have a diff and here is a, this is my title. And of course there is, a, there is some content too. Now what we need to do for a um, for using React lazy loading is uh, we need to have a default export from this module. Uh, we call it large component. Cool. So now this component has a default export and it refers to the large component. So far so good. What can we do here? Now obviously uh, there's an easy easy way and that's directly importing large component right so we could even make the default import but if we do that large component will be part of the large bundle of the big bundle of the main bundle and that's not what we want instead what we will do is we will somehow reverse this a bit and say okay let's use this and instead of doing an import statement in JavaScript let's do an import function call now what large component is at this point in time is a promise and it's a promise of importing this module. And this is where React lazy loading comes into play. So React has this lazy function which expects a callback. So this callback leads to um, the uh, component. Now in the current design we say okay whenever the lazy loaded component first loads or has to render please um, also load the module the subsequent ones well you don't care but there is uh, one other example if we say oh potentially we need this we could have already triggered the loading outside so that may also be, be quite useful right but in our standard case it is actually not so desired what we now have is an exotic component, which is like a standard component for our use cases. So one potential use case would be to have a route going to example 
and an exact path and using the large component, which is now not the directly large component, but the lazy loaded version of it. So far so good. And um, maybe this example is also something that we should refer to in our menu. Cool. Let's save it. Let's wait a bit. Here we go. Let's click it and you see large component JS is also loaded. And that's how it works, right? So there are just two things instead of using the component um, with a direct import, you use it via an import um, function that's also inside a um, React lazy function call. And the other thing is you need to export uh, it by default because that's how um, the React lazy expects it to work, right? So when it looks at the result of the promise, it expects a dot default to be there. It's just the way it is. Um, that way, by the way, we could also trigger something else. Let's say we have the large component resolved. And um, what we want to do is um, we want to rename this as foo. And now we could also make a promise.resolve something that looks like this. So this still works, which is great. And uh, with now it's not loaded. Yeah, of course not. But as a larger side effect, of course, we could therefore, if we are willing to, to take the longer step, also um, use this with the large component by itself, right? And all we would need to do is have a default of the M large component. And so we could also do it even if we are not having a default export just by properly um, uh, referring to it. And here you see we are loading again lazy from that file. I hope that helps you understand it a little bit. Uh, it's a combination of course of what React can do with standard JavaScript capabilities like a promise. And of course what the bundler can do, which actually places um, the large component in its own bundle and then of course combines the two together on the import call. So it's two tools working together, one at runtime, React, and one at compile time, which is TypeScript and Parcel. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.